starts now. Good evening, I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. Thank you for joining us. In a special report this evening, ABC4 News is exposing the potential political pressure to award contracts to companies without due process in the fight against COVID-19. And we're learning one of the companies thought to be cut out of the Test Utah platform never left. ABC4 News investigator Jason Wynn joining us now live in studio. And Jason, it appears things are business as usual for this company. That's right, Glenn and Emily. We know Tippinogus Regional Hospital is no longer processing tests for Test Utah. At first, we thought No Me Health cut out code diagnostics because of issues with their COVID-19 tests and because of a pending lawsuit involving their tests. Tonight, we know that's not true, and it's all because of this state contract. Code Diagnostics tells me in a statement I received right before 5 o'clock, Test Utah provided one of the first opportunities for Code Diagnostics to contribute to the fight against COVID-19 in our own communities. Since that time, Code Diagnostics has partnership in our partnered or participated, I should say, in deployments in several states in addition to Utah and serves multiple laboratories around the country. At least one of the labs, Premier Medical Laboratories, also provides services to the state of Utah. Code Diagnostics goes on to say Code Diagnostics follows FDA guidelines for test validation and distribution of our Logic Smart COVID-19 test according to the highest industry standards. We stand behind our behind the quality of our test and are proud to be able to contribute to local state and global efforts to stop the spread of this deadly disease. Now there are now these are the same tests that we've been talking about that Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox advocated for on March 27th, telling health officials to move heaven and earth to get more testing. Tonight at 10, we're going to wrap this whole story up for you and tell you who was the point contact for Know Me Health with all of these state contracts. Till then, I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News.